Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back. Are you an introvert? Do you prefer to spend time alone and be more so by yourself? Introversion and extroversion personality orientations were first created by psychologist Carl Jung in the early 1900s. Extroverts are more outspoken and get energy from interacting with other people. Whereas introverts feel drained in social settings and prefer to keep more to themselves. Introversion and extroversion both exist on a vast spectrum with varying traits to go along with each of these personality types. Are you curious if you're a true introvert or want to learn more about introversion? Here are eight signs you are a true introvert. Number one, you are very observant. Are you someone who's very observant? Do you like to people watch? Have you always been able to notice slight changes in your environment? When you're a true introvert, you are the first one to notice a friend's new haircut or their new outfit. You pick up on slight differences in a person's body language and facial expressions. You generally can read the room and recognize the energies that other people are bringing into your space. Introverts often learn things through careful observation rather than impulsive execution. This observant quality really helps you develop a heightened sense of your surroundings and the people within them. Number two, you're a great listener. Do you think you're a good active listener? Do you listen to and acknowledge your friends or family when they come to you with a problem? Introverts are good active listeners. Dr. Lori Helgo, author of Introvert Power, Why Your Hidden Life Is Your Hidden Strength, states that introverts process information internally, and that skill allows them to hear, understand, and provide carefully considered insight when they do respond. You tend to be the best one to go to when someone has to vent. You have the ability to set aside your personal thoughts and feelings in order to respectfully allow others to process and reflect on their emotions. You establish trust and transparency through how you attentively listen to others. So your friends and family probably count on you to be there for them and provide the support they need in the heat of the moment. Number three, you are highly introspective. Are you remarkably introspective? Introverts have a very active internal monologue and are masterful at the art of introspective thinking. You have a natural curiosity and a reflective attitude that helps you to carefully devise plans in your head before moving forward and choosing to put them into action. This contemplative thinking allows you to keep in touch with your authenticity because you're able to closely monitor your thoughts, feelings, and emotions. Number four, you think before you speak. Do you like to feel prepared before executing any plan of action, including a conversation? A true introvert feels the need to rehearse and carefully formulate approaches and responses to certain conversations. You think before you speak and choose your words wisely, especially in order to avoid miscommunications and misunderstandings. You most likely appreciate writing over talking, so you feel far more comfortable texting or writing an email rather than calling someone or talking in person. Number five, you are creative. Do you think more outside the box? Do you have a unique or uncommon perspective on things? and deal with abstract reasoning. True introverts are extraordinarily creative because you are introspective and curious. You seek out solutions to problems and are into creative problem solving. When social settings drain you as an introvert, you typically choose to relax through some sort of creative outlet. This lets you rest and recharge. After a long day at school or work, you look forward to spending time engaging in your favorite hobbies, whether it's cooking something delicious, playing music, writing in a journal, or indulging in self-care. Number six, you experience emotions intensely. Are you very aware and in touch with your feelings? Do you feel the same way about the connections you have with other people? When you are a true introvert, you have a heightened level of emotional sensitivity. This sensitivity comes with both positive and negative impacts. For example, you might have a great amount of empathy for others on one hand, but on the other hand, you might also struggle with mental health issues. A study conducted by the United States National Center for Biotechnology Information shows that introverts are more likely to develop depression. The study stated that introversion acts in concert with personality variables, including neuroticism and a feeling type personality. Introverts, especially when under high levels of stress, can absorb and internalize external feelings and often misidentify those feelings as their own. Although this serves as an inconvenience at times, you also have the ability to feel great empathy for your fellow people. Number seven, you are a thoughtful type of networker. It's an occasion for any introvert to attend a social gathering. Because of this, you probably try to make every interaction with others meaningful. You are someone who values quality over quantity and you'll use every opportunity to make a good first impression. You approach making connections with new people with intention 
and mindfulness and thoughtfulness in order to formulate a secure foundation before having further interactions with other people. A true introvert is someone who networks thoughtfully and chooses to move with intention through a crowd or at a gathering. And number eight, you are an excellent leader. Do you have a skill set made up of compassionate leadership skills? True introverts can make some of the best leaders and role models. There's been Rosa Parks, Mahatma Gandhi, Barack Obama, and Albert Einstein, for example. These are just a few of the many people who have a great impact on the world. And they achieved this with the help of their distinctively introverted qualities. When you are a mindful communicator, an amazing listener, and are observant and introspective, this gives the ideal characteristics to successfully carry and coach a team of differing players. Do you relate to any of these signs of being a true introvert? Are you an introvert yourself? Share your thoughts with us in the comments below. Please like and share this video if it helped you and you think it could help someone else too. The studies and references used in this video are listed in the description below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more Psych2Go videos and thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.